Hello YouTube friends, subscribers, non-subscribers. This is JW Solar USA. Today's video I want to show you the specs and internal um internal part of the uh, Sun Team 1500 watt string inverter or grid tight inverter. Right here, this is what I have here for you guys. A Sun Team. Sun Team's photovoltaic inverter. So, I'm going to come here and show you guys how it looks like. This is where you connect the uh, PV. Um, sorry, this is the PV right here. And this is for the AC. This is a 220, 240 volt, folks. So these are all communication port right here. If you want to do the other ones, use like a, a Bluetooth devices and all that stuff, and and uh, you can use some communication devices right here. And this is where you connect the. Uh, the PV it has a, a dual MPPT tracking system so if you have a uh, two strings of whatever and you can able to connect one string here and one string here you know you can take either or positive and this right here this and this and this and that okay it has a dual maximum point power point tracking on this device right here is the output which is like the inputs uh, from your 240 and it feeds the L1 L2 line 1 line 2 the hot and the neutral and ground right here okay so because of these I want to show you I want to show you the specs of this device right here sorry it's gonna be sideways but uh, see what I can do uh, flip it over the other way I got all the screws out Allen Allen keys Allen screws for you guys to be able to see the internal part of it It has a huge heat sink. You can see it. This this device is really robust, really strong, and uh, um, you can install this device outside. It's a waterproof. Nothing wrong with it. it can start. It can stand um, all kind of weather. This one can stay inside. If you want to bring it inside, like in your garage or basement, that's cool. It doesn't have fans. It does the cooling, just a natural cooling system with the air. Okay. Well, these are the specs right here. You will see this device takes uh, input DC voltage of 450 volt DC. The range of input operation voltage is uh, one from 100 to 430 volt, which is uh, the good perfect one for the MPPT to work, high voltage. And the input current is a 9 amps. Maximum input short circuit. You know when you get your solar panels, you have the continuous and the, the ISC short circuits. Normally you see the panel, the, the amps kind of a little bit higher. But when you do um, trying to um, calculate uh, for charge controller, grid tied inverter or anything, you have to take these numbers into consideration. So always calculate the bigger number, not just the smaller number. That's the one for like the when like when you have the VOC, you have the peak. So you have to always calculate the biggest voltage on your solar panel and take that into consideration, not the um the continuous. 
okay so that's exactly what this one does right here see uh, the input sh such package is uh, 24 um, amps but it runs on a 9 amp you want you to get your panels series series these are all series panels you have to series them you don't parallel unless you have a, a panels that are really like two amps or something you can put a lot of those and as long as you don't hit the uh four you don't, you don't pass 430 you have to be below see now the the, the the specs that you're looking for right here is a 450 volt dc so we can't go past that so they want you to operate on this 110 to 130 volt uh dc so you see so coming to um, the AC part, it takes from 183 to 228 volt AC at 208 volt AC, and operate at 11, uh, 211, 264 to 240. So the minimum output of this device. The minimum output of this device is 208 to 240 okay well this is what I was telling you guys earlier um, continuous they run maximum continuous output current is it, it produce it put back to the grid 8 amps 8.2 slash or 7.2 amps to the to, to the electricity and the total output of this device since is a SunTech here 1500 watt so this is what a um, continuous output is 1500 watt okay maximum output over current protection so if your panels are 9 or 8, am 8 amps in series, if they uh, tend to produce maybe this one for mo mostly for winter time, when it's co uh, colder, you tend to produce more uh, current and more power. So if it goes about 10 amps, which your panels rated at 8.870-something, um, the max is 9, and uh, it, something happened. You're so lucky you produce up to about 10. This thing can over, uh, protect itself for overcurrent. Not to um, blow the device or just to really um, mess it up. Well, these are the specs. I hope um, I um, explained that better for you guys. Well, um, if you think you didn't get it, you can go back into Sun Team uh, PV Grid Inverter. And uh, look for the 1500 and read the specs for yourself. Well, this is what I mentioned earlier. You can see all the screws for this device. It's rubber seal. can tell you, look at the holes right here. It doesn't want no water to get inside that device. And it has a, a seal on this door underneath. So that's why you can leave this device outside and no problem at all okay here we go and now I just open the device you can see the internal part of this it has a uh, three huge transformers in here so really well built device right here looks pretty good look at the uh, the board display board right here just the guts of the uh, the entire device pretty awesome very good machine A friend of mine has one of these if you guys can see uh, Suntech um, 17 I think it's 17.520 um, you can see that video my friend a friend of mine has this the 1700 watt of it Okay, then um, it has been running from I think approximately at uh, approximately uh, 
four four years now, going to four five years. It's running non-stop, and he, he left the thing outside by the deck. That's why he installed his device, so it stays right there. You take a look at the video, you see exactly what I'm talking about. So, is the display screen right here it shows? There's a, a few relays here. You can see those. Yeah, I hope I can get a better shot for just uh, these are 12 volt DC relays. Look at that! All these caps. One, two, three, four, five. Five caps here. All kind of big. stuff here so see this is how so basically uh, two strings they were saying you can do a, a, a dual MPPT well this is what I found interesting okay well according to the specs they were saying a dual MPPT but look at if you look at these wires they are all wired in parallel okay take a look here it's four inputs right so they bridge um, they have two positives and two negatives here. Two positives and two negatives here. Look what he did here. They brought it inside and paralleled them here on the board. So centrally, you're going to uh, connect two arrays. You think it's just like a one and two instead of you doing the parallel for yourself. It's already done. That's what he did right here and put it right on that block. See that? Hmm. So it's just like combining your amps, whatever you bring in instead of you having a, a disconnect or combiner box and you already have is all combined internally. So what do you think, guys? Think it's a good machine? Once your input and comment, subscribe and thumbs up because this will be a nice, nice project. Be a surprising project for you guys. Stay tuned because I'm going to be bringing you a live video where this device is going to go. I know you guys like my surprising uh <laughs> Things I normally bring you guys. It'll be interesting now. Fire up this thing and see how this thing really looks. Interesting. This is the uh, operating light right here, which is a normal, and this is the fault light right here. Don't want this one on. So I'm not telling you guys right now where this device is gonna go till all the installation operation already started or oh, it's all done. Then you guys can see the final output. So all I want you guys to do to stay tuned and keep checking. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe. So that if you're really interested on this device where JW Solar is going to install this device. Or you want to know more, whatever is coming on this device. And uh, you can be the first person to have um, the... Uh, um, the updates. Oh, speaking about it, this is the seal I was telling you guys about. This is a rubber seal that uh, I was telling you is waterproof. Look at this door, how it's designed. Okay, see that? It's carved, bend, bent, and uh, it comes right away and overlap here. So that's why they built this thing really high. See? And there's no way water is going to get in here. See, it's bent. This one is bent. So this is the seal that protects it from um, water uh, intrusion. We don't want any intru intruders into these machines because water and electronics don't get along. And there is the ground right here for the uh, plate right here. It's metal though. If you guys are wondering, this is not galvanized, it's a metal. Okay? Yeah. She's looking pretty. Well, anyway, this is how I'm going to wrap up the video. And I uh, hope you guys uh, enjoy the video. And um, 
I can't explain everything inside the uh, circuit board because I'm not um, electric uh, electrician or whatever you call it, electronic guy. That is gonna be. I love electronics, but I can't diagnose the the guts and everything. Call the names, call the parts by names and everything. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not lying to you guys because I'm not doing that. And you guys know that's why I open it up. I want you guys who are really into electronics, who are really into circuitry, circuit board, and all that cool stuff. They would just love this and see exactly if it's well built. It's not built well. You guys leave it on your on, on your comments below, okay? Because um, we're all learning here, and which the cool thing I don't see any of this uh, stuff they normally melt i can see like kind of um thing how they see the holes all these things look at this this is really tough it's not going anywhere see it's not going anywhere really built strong robust some of that normally see some kind of glue components they normally put on this thing for, for not um uh not to move i saw this one's kind of strapped a little bit look at this it's all tough built really strong wow I'm impressed with this machine. Well, we're gonna see how when we turn this turn on this machine and see exactly how it works. Then I'm gonna be really excited and really, really, really happy. Well, JW Solo USA, this is I'm gonna wrap up the video. And please stay tuned, subscribe, thumbs up, like, and share. Always subscribe. That will help. That helps the the, the channel. And uh, as we grow, and that's how I'm going to be really uh, bringing you some good stuff and cool stuff. This shows that you guys appreciate my channel. And I appreciate you guys watching too. And leave your comments. Thanks for watching and God bless. Bye-bye.